Hi, I'm Mike Proyos from Hermosa, South Dakota. This is my 41 Ford Super Deluxe that I found in Rumford, South Dakota back in 2016. This 41 Ford is a one-year design. As you can see, it's been customized with paint, French headlights in, custom mirrors. The car has a unique story. Originally, when the car was purchased, it was the mail delivery car for Rumford Post Office. I found in the schoolhouse these two pictures, and I blended them together. This is the fellow that owned the car. He has a letter in his hand and the mailbag in the back, and there's the Rumford, South Dakota Post Office. This is this car in 1948. This is his wife with a little French bulldog. And this is the ranch in Rumford, South Dakota that the car was found in, in 2016. In 1961, Jim Newsel took this picture of the car and this is Del Johnson. He was the secretary of the Counts of the Cobblestone Car Club. This picture was taken in Bacon Park, South Dakota, just in Rapid City. And that's Del in the car. And if you notice this piece of trim that's bent down, and you go back to the 48 picture, it's the same car. There's the same scratches on it. So this is the history of this car from 48 to 61. I found the car July 23rd, 2016. And this is the picture of me pulling the car out of this horse stall where it sat since 1962. You can see how the uh, critters ate the inside of the car. This is the car being pulled out, and this is this car before the restoration. On the picture frame, it shows the different steps of how this car was restored to get it to what it is today. Originally, this car had a flathead V8 and a three-speed automatic transmission. What I did is I went to a and Auto Salvage, found a 302 Ford motor, and then a C4 automatic transmission, and it fit in this car like a glove. It was meant to be. Underneath the car has a Mustang II front suspension. It has a four-link rear suspension and a Mustang GT rear end. The interior was done by Rapid Interior, and it has an alligator and leather trim mode to it. As you can see, it's been customized, pleated, and uh, has a custom console that was put into the car. The dash and all the wood garnishing that's in the car is faux painted by Jerry Saylor. Um, and it goes back to the theme of what this car would have looked like in 1941 when it came out of the showroom. This trunk is fully customized with liner black carpet and unique thing inside the back you'll see is a rear air conditioning and heating unit because the dash is so small I couldn't get a regular unit in there. And you'll notice it has Kreger wheels and there's a spare Kreger tire with a custom wrap tire cover for it. Going back in history, this car is the last living hot rod from the Rapid City 50s and 60s era along with the Jewel. So these two cars, the Jewel and the 41 Ford, or Dell Johnson's car, will now grace the streets as part of history was back in the 50s and 60s.